I have that either. Then how about a BB gun? Then how about a real loud siren for my bike? Jesus. Well, now I'm going to ask you for the one thing I want more than anything in the whole world. I ask every store Santa Claus I see about it. You know what it is? A horse. Can I have a horse? <laughs> Boy, I'm going to go home and write a letter to the real Santa Claus. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So, if Dennis Mitchell gets a horse for Christmas, I'll move to the North Pole. <laughs> Great Scott. we've ever had. I love my bracelet, honey. Good. My presents were swell, too. The only thing is, I can't find my horse. <laughs> we've told you and told you, you're not getting a horse. Sure I am, Dad. Santa Claus has never let me down yet. <laughs> well, he didn't let you down, honey. He brought you a record player. Yeah, but I didn't ask for a record player. I asked for a horse. Well, Dennis, in the first place, you're too young for a horse. No, I'm not. I could comb him and brush him and take well, care of him. Well, you're not getting one, so you might as well forget it. Sure I am, and here he comes now. Oh, Dennis, that's just Mr. McGuire and his Christmas tree. Oh, Mr. McGuire! Mr. McGuire! Hold it! Hold it! Whoa, Mercury. Well, Merry Christmas, Mr. Wilson. Well, Merry Christmas, Mr. McGuire. Was Santa Claus good to you? Oh, yes, very generous. Oh, how did he treat little Dennis Mitchell? Did he get his horse? Oh, of course not, great Scott. Well, now let's get down to business. Shopping has kept me so busy, I haven't had a chance to get my tree. This is the uh, fifth year in a row. You've become one of my regulars. Ooh. And I've saved one of my finest trees for you. Well, that's very nice. Oh, uh, say, that's uh, a beautiful tree. Nothing like it. Smell. Mm. Ah, yes. The smell of Christmas, the time of giving, of goodwill toward men, of charity. You've forgotten to lower your price. <laughs> no, that's correct. Five dollars. But that was your price before Christmas. Why do you think I waited? You hope to get another tree for 50 cents. Well, of course. <laughs> the price to you is Five dollars. Mr. Wilson. McGuire, I have always paid 50 cents on Christmas Day. I've become a regular. Well, that's why I've had to keep my price up on Christmas Day. I can't afford all you regulars. Oh, well, stop calling me a regular then. I would have gotten one earlier, but I just didn't have the time. Yeah, well, I'll throw in a few sprigs of mistletoe. Well, I should hope so. That's the least you could do. So next year, I may give my business to someone else. Oh, I'm afraid you'll have to. You see, I'm retiring. Really, Mr. McGuire? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Well, that's nice of you to say so. Hmm. Well, you've always had the prettiest trees in town. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, Mrs. Wilson and I want you to have this. Merry Christmas. Well, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Well, uh, go on, open it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's a pipe. <laughs> Why, it's a beauty. Uh, oh, yes. Y y you see that little uh, band right there on the stem? Yeah. That's real silver. You don't say. Oh, yes, yes. You see, it says right here, it says, made in Japan. <laughs> Great Scott. <laughs> well, smoke it in good health, Mr. McGuire. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Hi, Tommy. 
Come on in. What'd you get? Some swell toys and a lot of dumb old underwear. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mrs. Mitchell. Merry Christmas, Tommy. Take off your things. I think I'd better leave them on, Mrs. Mitchell. I just came over to have a ride on Dennis's horse. <laughs> Dennis didn't get a horse, Tommy. He hasn't gotten here yet. And he isn't going to get here. Dennis, I wish you'd stop talking about it. But, Mom, wait a minute. I, I... have argued now. I have to make the bed. If you hear anything on the roof, give me a yell. <laughs> First, I'll show you my stuff. Then we can go over to your house and play with your electric train. I didn't get it. Jeepers, what's the matter with Santa Claus this year? I got a microscope, though. A microscope? What do you do with it? You look through it, and it makes things bigger. I didn't even ask for it. Is it any fun? Dad thinks so. <laughs> look at this swell wallet my dad gave me, because my mom gave him a new one. It's coming apart, only on the side. <laughs> and look what I've got in it. Ten dollars from my grandpa. Wow! You have to save it? <laughs> nope. That's the best part. Grandpa's note said it was spending money. Boy, if my horse would only get here, this Christmas would be perfect. Martha, you're first in line. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas, boys. Merry Christmas. Come in, boys. Thanks for the paint box, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson. Here's something for you. Oh. Thank you, Dennis. You know the first thing I painted, Mr. Wilson? A picture of you. Oh, really? Sure. I did it before breakfast. When I got through, Dad said you look like a cocker spaniel. <laughs> Open your present, George. Oh. This is lovely. Yeah, it's beautiful. What is it? It's a bookmark. So you won't have to turn down the corners on that book Mom and Dad gave you. Well, I know I'm going to enjoy it very much. Thank you, Dennis. What's this? They're tickets. I got some, too. Each one gives you a free ride on my horse. Horse? What horse? The one Santa Claus brought me. Only I haven't found it yet. When he does, he's going to take everybody on a hayride. And you're invited, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Have you heard any hoofs around here? No, I haven't. Can we look in your garage? Mm, there's no horse in our garage. How about your basement? No. <laughs> oh, thank heaven. Somebody's calling you. That's just dumb old Margaret. If we keep quiet, she'll go away. <laughs> Martha. Scott, my stomach's beginning to grind. Boys, why don't you ask Margaret if she's seen a horse? Hey, that's a good idea. I think so, too. Hey, Margaret, haven't you seen a horse? Yes, I have. Come on out. I want to show you my new doll. I don't want to see it. Now, where did you see the horse? I won't tell you unless you come out and look at my doll. <laughs> Great. about her. Okay, she's got nice buttons for eyes. Now, wait to see the horse. You'd make a terrible father, Dennis. That wasn't nice. Who cares? I'm not going to have children. I'm going to have horses. Now, wait to see it. Say something nice. Sheepers. Better do it, Dennis, or we'll never find out. I can't think of anything. You want to hold her? No. How about this? It's better than a baby, because it's quieter. <laughs> well, if that's the best you can do, I saw a horse. Only it's a pony over at Johnny Fleming's house. Johnny Fleming's? Yes, he got it for Christmas. Keepers, Tommy. Sarah left it at the wrong house. Come on! Give him the sugar, Johnny. He'll fight me. No, 
he won't bite you. This is a very tame, gentle pony. <laughs> Here, watch how I do it. There, now, wasn't that easy? Did it hurt? Of course not. Here, you do it. He'll bite me. Johnny, for the hundredth time, he won't bite you. you yeah, I'll do it once more for you. Oh, well, we're out of sugar. <laughs> now, come around here and I'll put you in the saddle. He'll kick me. <laughs> Johnny, come here. Don't you like your pony? I guess so. Of course you do. Every kid likes a pony. Why, when I was your age, I was crazy to have a pony. Why don't you have Santa Claus? He gives them away whether you want them or not. <laughs> Because, because my father couldn't afford to keep one. When I was your age, I had to have a paper route just to get spending money. Can I have a paper route? No! <laughs> Look, come on now, get on your pony. Bert, don't force the boy. Give him time to get used to it. Why does he have to have time to get used to a pony? When I was a boy... I know I'd... all about it. <laughs> come on in and make the eggnog. The people will be arriving soon. All right, honey. Johnny, I don't want you to ride your pony if you don't want to. Now, all I ask is that you give yourself a chance to like him. Will you do that? Okay. Good. Now, you stay out here in the yard while I... Alone? Yes, yeah, he won't hurt you, I promise. Okay. All right, good. Well, I'll be back on a little later. Johnny. I think I'll call him Chris. My dad says his name is Seabiscuit. Seabiscuit? What kind of a name is that for a horse? I'm going to call him Prince. Hold still, Prince. Gosh, aren't you scared, Dennis? Heck no. I've had a lot of experience with horses. I watch them on television. <laughs> well, Dee, you can ride him anytime you want to, Dennis. That's what I want to talk to you about, Johnny. Where'd you get this swell horse? From Santa Claus. Did you ask for him? Heck no. Well, I did. What happened was that good old Santa Claus brought him here by mistake. Then why was my name on him? Santa just got the tanks all mixed up. I asked for an electric train and got a microscope. And I wanted a horse and I got a record player. So how about if I treat my record player for your horse? I've already got a record player. What I wanted is a typewriter. Say, if I can get a typewriter, would you trade me the horse for it? Sure. Okay, I'll be right back. Don't go away or anything. I can't go away. Now that I've got this horse, they won't even let me in the house. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry, Margaret, I heard him in there talking with Tommy a little while ago, but I guess he went out again. That's all right, Mrs. Mitchell. I've learned to expect it. Would you please give him this letter for me? I'm breaking our engagement. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just can't go on like this, Mrs. Mitchell. He hasn't even shown me what he got for Christmas. Well, I'd be happy to show you his presents, Margaret. Okay, but our engagement is still broken. I'd give him back his ring, but he never gave me one. I understand. Come on in the living room. Here are his things right under the tree. Well, that's funny. I wonder where his record player is. Hey, Mr. Wilson. What now? Well, I've been going all over the neighborhood trying to find a typewriter. And I remember yours that Mrs. Wilson has to change the ribbon on it for you. What about? How'd you like to treat it for my record player so I can get my horse? Of course not. If you get a horse, I'll need the typewriter to write a letter to my lawyer. <laughs> Hi, son. Hi, Dad. You been out showing off your new record player? I sure have. Boy, I must have shown it to 50 people. Did I hear Dennis? Oh, Dennis, Margaret was here. Oh, she's always hanging around. Yes, and you haven't been very nice to her. Keepers, Mom, she's a girl. Well, that doesn't make any difference. Besides, you've hurt her feelings. 
Here, she left you this letter. Mm. You at least be nice to her on Christmas Day. Jeepers, she's broken our engagement. I better call her up and apologize. Well, that would be a fine idea. <laughs> that was an abrupt change of attitude. <laughs> a little boy's mind, honey. Always changing ideas and interests. Remember this morning, all he could talk about was that horse. <laughs> yes. Ah. Oh. Hello, Margaret. This is Dennis. Hey, you know that letter you sent me? Whose typewriter did you type it on? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I don't know if I'll be able to wait another hour for dinner. The smell of that turkey is driving me out of my mind. <laughs> Mr. Wade, what is it? Well, Merry Christmas, Mr. Wade. Don't you Merry Christmas me. I want Margaret's typewriter. <laughs> Isn't that Dennis's record player? Yes, it is. He swapped it for Margaret's typewriter. <laughs> what in the world would Dennis want with Margaret's typewriter? He's going to trade it for the pony Johnny Fleming got for Christmas. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. That boy of yours is juggling every gift in the neighborhood. Well, I'll put a stop for that, Mr. Wade. Yes, and Margaret will get her typewriter back, I assure you. Well, that. I should hope so. I'll call Mr. Fleming right now. Excuse me. So, you know, that little girl of mine is crazy about Dennis. They're engaged again, you know. Uh, yes, I heard him saying something about it on the phone. She's going around showing everybody her engagement string. You mean engagement ring, Mr. Wilson? No, no, string. He just tied a string on her finger. <laughs> uh, Mr. Fleming, uh, this is Henry Mitchell. I, I don't want to alarm you, but I think my boy is on his way over to your house to trade a typewriter for your boy's pony. Oh, 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 oh. I wouldn't worry about that, Miss Mitchell. Oh, Johnny loves his pony. You wouldn't think of trading it. Why, well, ponies every boy's dream. I remember when I was hey, a boy. Hey, Dad, junk... guess what? What's that? My typewriter. <laughs> That's not his horse. That's my horse. <laughs> Dennis. Well, it looks like you got quite a load. Do you want a lift? Yeah, thanks, Mr. McGuire. I have to take Margaret's typewriter back to her. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> Boy, you're sure lucky. You've already got your horse. Yeah. You certainly like horses, don't you? Like them? I love them. I loved them all my life. I was supposed to get one for Christmas. Yeah, I know. You told me. Have you ever ridden one? Oh, sure, a million times. Every time I go to my grandpa's farm, I go horseback riding on his cow. <laughs> I think a cow is the first horse I ever rode, too. I like cows. The only trouble is, they're too wide. Oh, yeah, and their spines are too sharp. Yeah, if you bounce, it hurts. The milk's good, though. Oh, that's true enough. You have a cow, Mr. McGuire? Well, I had one. But I sold it now that I'm retiring. Are you retiring, Mr. McGuire? Aren't you going to sell Christmas trees anymore? No. This is my last year. Jeepers. What are you going to do with good old Mercury there? Oh, Mercury's retiring, too. I'm going to put her out to pasture. Jeepers. If you sold your cow, did you ever think about selling your horse? Oh, Mercury. Mercury's a little bit special. I'd buy it from you. I've got ten dollars and a nickel. Is that money yours to spend? Sure. My grandpa sent me the ten dollars as a Christmas present. I'll bet this is just the way Santa Claus wanted me to get my horse. So will you sell me good old Mercury? Well, I don't know. I take awful good care of her. Please, Mr. McGuire. All right, Dennis, you bought yourself a horse. Wow, I'm the best kid on my block to have one. Yeah, I imagine you are. So here's the ten dollars. Oh, no, the, the price to you is only a nickel. You might need that ten dollars for feed. Woo, Mercury. Gee, thanks, Mr. 
Mr. McGuire. Here's the nickel. Oh. Well, thank you. Thank you, Dennis. And now, I'll, uh, just to make this all legal and proper, I'll write you out a bill of sale. Boy, I've never had a bill of sale before. <laughs> Sold to Dennis Mitchell for the sum of five cents, one horse named Mercury. Now, I'll sign it. There. The horse is now legally yours. Jeez, Mr. Wilson's going to be excited. <laughs> Say, uh, where are you going to keep her? In the garage next to the lawnmower. Plenty of room? I think so. Mm -hmm. Well, at least she'd be able to stretch her legs roaming around the neighborhood while you're at school. Cheaper, she can't do that. Mr. Wilson would be awfully mad if she got in his flowers. Oh. Well, I suppose she'll get used to being kept in the garage all day. Where'd you keep her when she was your horse? Well, at night I kept her in the barn. But during the day, I let her run in the pasture. Oh, you ought to see our pasture in the springtime. It's just full of buttercups. Really? Yeah, oh, and does Mercury love him? Say, Mr. McGuire, you think I could rent that pasture from you? I've still got my ten dollars. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, that pasture is going to be quite a problem to me. Why is that, Mr. McGuire? The weeds. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, I may have to hire a horse from somebody to keep those weeds down. Jeepers, why don't you rent good old Mercury from me? You can keep her in the pasture and I can come out and visit her whenever I want it. Well, I don't know. She might be too expensive. See, all I can afford is a nickel. Really, Mr. McGuire? You know something? That's just my price. <laughs> well, there you are. <laughs> Isn't that clever? <laughs> you know, George hasn't eaten a thing since breakfast. He's been saving his appetite for your dinner. Oh, that's <laughs> right, Alice. I'm... I got it! I got it! I got my horse! What? I bought it from Mr. McGuire. Here's a bill of sale. I told you so, Martha. I told you. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Dennis. I am not going on any hayride. <laughs> Driving. It's fine, son. But shouldn't we be thinking about getting back? We've been out several hours already. My jeepers. Oh, jeepers, Mr. Mitchell. Can't we sing just one more carol? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Annie? Oh, jeepers, Mr. Mitchell. Why not? Okay. <laughs> one more. And Mr. McGuire gets to pick it. Well, I uh, guess my favorite has always been... Silent night. Mine too. Silent night. Holy night. All is calm. All is bright. Round yon
This has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.